Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Small Group. Um, this will be our third story in our Zach and Ann book, and I'm excited. It's going to be called Zach Gets a Pet. So let's go ahead and start with our parts of our book. So front cover, back cover, spine, important information on the spine is our title. When we point to our title, we use our tracker or our pointer. And we are looking at our title, which is right here. Title, name of the book, name of the book, title, Zach and Anne, Unit 9 Reader. Title page, title page, this is the title page, Zach and Anne. Unit 9 Reader. Table of Contents. Zach and Anne. Unit 9 Reader. And as I said before we started our book, we are going to be in the third story. The Bad Crab. Oh, we read that one. Anne's Dress. We read that one. Third story. Zach gets a pet and we follow the tra trail all the way to number 20 so our story is going to be on 20 today all right so let's get to page 20 ah there we go see there's my page number page 20 excellent zach gets a pet can I get a cat? Zach asks. Asks. Can I get a cat? Zach asks. Dad tells Zach. No cats. Cats run up trees and can't get back. Oh, checking this out. I notice that we have some quotation marks, and those quotation marks mean a character is actually talking in the story. So our first quotation marks right here, it says, can I get a cat? Zach asks. That means this character, Zach, is actually saying that. It's, he's using his words and saying it. Okay, and dad tells Zach, no cat. Cats run up trees and can't get back. So that means dad is actually saying it in the story. Also notice that we have an exclamation mark. That means he is excited when he says that. He's using it a louder voice. Okay. Can I get a rat? Zach asks. Mom adds, No, no, no rats. Rats smell bad. Again, we have our quotations, meaning that mom is talking in the story and Zach is talking in the story. I'm going to remind you, he asked dad for a specific kind of animal. And now he's asked mom for a specific kind of pet. Hmm. Can I get a bug? Zach asks. And tells Zach. No, no, a bug is not a pet. Okay, again we have an exclamation mark. Here and here. That means she is super um, excited about saying no. We don't want a bug for a pet. Um, and also, in all of these pages, Zach is asking a question. So his sentences have question marks. Okay, so he asked dad for a pet. He asked mom for a different pet. And now he's asked sister for a third kind of pet.
Can I get a fish? Zach asks. A fish? His mom asks. A fish is not so bad. Can a fish be a fun pet? Dad nods, and Anne shrugs. Shrugs. Dad nods, and Anne shrugs. Can I get one then? Zach asks. Mom nods. Yes! Yells Zach. Why is Zach so excited right now? That's right, because he finally found what he can have for a pet. And what kind of pet is he going to get? A fish. Very good. Last page in our story. Ooh, just looking at the illustration, I can see. A word back here, pets. Pets. I wonder if he went to this building to get his pet fish. Let's read to find out. Zach runs to the pet shop. Can I get that? That. Can I get that fish? Zach asks. This one. The pet shop man asks. Zach nods. This one costs. Costs. This one costs six bucks. Bucks. This one costs six bucks. Zach hands the man the cash. Then. Zach runs to mom and dad with his pet fish. Okay. Now, you're going to be answering your comprehension questions from your packet. Your questions are, why can't Zach get a pet? Oh, sorry. Why can't Zach get a cat? Why can't Zach get a bug? And where did Zach get his fish? So those are the things I want you to be thinking about when those are the questions that you are going to be thinking about. Now you have three comprehension questions that you're going to be answering in your packet. Those three questions are, why can't Zach get a cat? Why can't Zach get a bug? And where did Zach get his fish? When you answer those three questions on, from your packet, I want you to make sure that you are looking at your text and finding where you, finding the answers in it, showing your evidence. So I want you to show that evidence to your mom, to your dad, to your brother, to your sister, whoever is helping you at home. Show them where you got your answers. Okay? I love you so much. Bye.